Hello, welcome to the garage. As you um, may be able to hear, my um, voice is a little bit croaky. I've been um, a bit unwell this last week. Um, so um, yeah, the Mini has had nothing. I've been off all week and I've done nothing. Um, to be honest, I've just been sort of hunkered up indoors under a blanket. Um, but what you join me with now is um, uh, the uh, Mini head, the 16 valve BMW K head. So, um, and I've got a load of other bits and stuff I need to clean up on the bench. I'm getting this um, ready to uh, go off and be gas load. Um, but I thought it would be a good courtesy to just get inside the exhaust ports and clean out the junk. And as there's still aluminium falling out from uh, inside it from where it's been machined. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. You see all the machining bits have been done. The only thing I haven't done that I might do is... Um, drill through the bottom of, I think it's this post and this post here. Um, reason being is because you've got a nice big drain hole here and a nice big drain hole here, but no way for it to drain here because the head's meant to lay on its side. So it's meant to go up and over the, uh, up over the post because it's meant to be on its side. So um, when it's sitting this way up, this whole area has to fill up and flood over to get to the drain in here. Um, so if there's a little passage down the bottom there, that works quite nicely. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it on this side, but there is a there's a drain hole on this end. It would be a similar case for these two here, maybe even all three. So a few holes bored through. I haven't figured out how or what. Maybe an angle drill. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the process for today. I'll get this cleaned up and off the gas flowing. So cue the time lapse. wasn't a problem. Bugger. Oh, fire. doesn't it? Nice and tidy inside. There we go. I'll spin it over. I put some spray down there so it's um, still looking a bit damp but once it's been uh, once it's dried it'll be fine. There so that's looking good and ready. Yeah I've been having a look at how to add some extra head drainage for the oil in the top half. Um, and I might be able to run an experiment to try it, but um, what I've discovered is, uh, so here's the head, and it's meant to be on its side, and everything just drains down and around. So it's, it's, it's not the end of the world, you end up with a lot of oil sitting up here, otherwise I would have thought. Um, but there is a passage, if I get this, this is a uh, just a green rod. There's a hole in the end here. Now I can pass that all the way down. So if you can see it, but it will go all the way to the end of the head, literally right to the end. So it's gone in, it's gone in that far. So that passageway on this side runs um, all the way up to this end here. So if I was to be a little conservative, and obviously they appear to have themselves put drain passages in by the studs, so if I was to drill a hole down, so it'd be an eight mil hole maybe, one there and one there. That's all I'd need to do on this side. Haven't got to worry about this side because it floods down into the chamber. This chamber links across to the other side. So the lower part of this side drains really nicely and you've got a drain hole here. Um, there's another, again, another passage across here, passage across, passage across, and there is um, one hole, two holes here where the stuff can drain out and I am also open this end here for a slightly slightly further up 
but that's for a uh, breather. So the oil will be, you know, it'll be able to breathe nice and easy. And um, the tricky bit is this side. So I can't do the same on this side and go down the outside because the shape of the head doesn't allow it. On the other side, on the back edge, you've got this big drain channel all the way down. And as much as it steps in here, there's still a decent amount of bulge here to give you space to breathe. On this side, there isn't, it runs straight down. So uh, aside from putting something on externally, which you know is feasible, you could do, mm, I don't want to. Um, um, and you know, there's not really any space. If, you, if I shine the torch down inside there, there is no space on that side to, um, to do any drainage. It would have to be this side going that way. So I'm a little nervous of that. I'd have to follow the, there's a, there's a bit of meat on this side. I'd have to follow the angle of the um, cam buckets, follow the angle up here somewhere and go that way, which is scary because if I miss, I end up in the water jacket or I pop out on this edge. Not ideal. Um, don't get me wrong, I've got you know another head there and I've got another head there. So this one's not been machined. So I could quite happily practice that on this head. It's a slightly different casting. It's a K1 casting, not a K2 casting, which I believe is that's from a K100. These are from a K1200. It's a K100 RS, K1200 RS. Practically the same other than older. Um, but I can practice on that one and then do it on this. Um, so I'm gonna have a think and a check and I'm gonna dig deep and find some courage and um, then I'll see what occurs. I mean, the other option, I suppose, would be to go down beside the stud. Well, that practically is the same thing, isn't it? I'd follow the uh, the stud's going to go straight, and all them you can see there's a there's a hole here. So if I look, light up the other end, okay, you can see all the way down inside there. It's hard to get the camera to focus it, but there is a passage, and it's fairly spacious all the way down, I'll come further this end. So you can see, you can light up all the way in there, all the way to the very end. So you can see all the way down. So there is a gap to fall into, it's just making sure you get your angles correct. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of thinking and then uh, I might just crack out the drill and the drill bits and, and go for it, because nothing ventured, nothing gained, eh? Yeah. Right, onwards. Okay, resting you up in a precarious place. Hope you can see this. I've um, pin punched a, uh, a hole in these two places and we'll uh, see whether it comes through. Wish me luck, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, that was a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be. Let's go down in this one and we'll see what happens. Well, there's, uh, it's on the edge of something there, but there is a cavity over to that side, so. Okay, well, I'd call that a, uh, a win. I'm now gonna uh, put you on time-lapse and gradually make those holes a little bigger. Great success. There is a uh, eight mil hole drilled here. Uh, it's hard to get the camera to focus properly. Oh, my, can I go without the light? I without the light. Um, I'm just going to deburr that edge a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's gone through. What I wasn't expecting, um, and I didn't spot until after I'd gone through with the three mil, I've actually moved the hole a little bit further this way from where I had it. Um, you've got this bolt here, and you know, if you can see inside there, but the casting has obviously got to be there to support that. So, um, yeah, we'll be aware of that one. Well, the next one, obviously, it does look like in here, there is, oh, if I can put some light in there, maybe. There you go, you can see there's actually a fair bit of room up this end of the casting. So, uh, 
you can easily make that bigger if you need to. Um, obviously you don't want to take too much out because I'm not sure it's there for strength, but I've done one there and another one there. And if I shine the light through there, you can see there's plenty of uh, space around there, plenty of support. I'll make sure I uh, just file up and deburr the edges nicely. I'm still undecided as what to do on this side because it is a risky drill. So um, I'm going to give myself a little bit more time to think on that. Um, but at very worst, if I end up with a channel of oil coming all the way this way, well, I was only gonna go, this one will flood into there, I guess. Um, it's the fact that you've got three there that will fill up with oil, and there's only uh, one at each end way to get it out. And with the head sitting up this way, that ends up being quite a lot of oil sitting up here when it's laying flat so that it can run down and round. But, um, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna think about that some more and um, you might join me later on, but right now I'm gonna get this in the parts washer and see if I can wash some of that swarf out from inside it. Okay, that's the cleaned up head on an extra drain hole. Two extra drain holes. And I'm not brave enough to do this one yet. I need a little bit of time to think about this. I've got an option of maybe using this really, really long drill bit here. I'm thinking that maybe if I can find a line that goes past the end of that, um, I want to miss that stud and I want to miss that oil way, but there appears to be a line and then I can run it underneath all the posts down in that corner. Six mil running all the way across would be uh, quite nice. But um, as for now, I uh, feel like I've done enough in the garage. I'm feeling pretty correct crappy again and uh yeah that's what we're up to so i'm gonna sign off there yeah i'll um carry on at some point very soon i hope you uh enjoyed that little look at the 16 valve head and i'll um i'll see you on the next one